So I've got a question. Yo, Duran Ryder, do you think Nadal is on steroids? Because recently in the media, there was some steroid talk about it. And I'm like, is Nadal a doper? No way. No way. Are you serious? Man, people have got some good imaginations, don't they? Nadal using steroids. No way. Not, not on your life. Not on your life. I mean, I. Here's here's the facts, right? Let's let's get it let's get it real. Let's get it real. Has Nadal ever tested positive? No. Has he ever admitted to steroid use? No. So that's all we need to know, people. Okay? Innocent till proven guilty. Crying out loud. I mean, it's it's crazy that people can do all this hard work, and then the haters say, hey, you know. His arms look a bit too big for a tennis player. But I think people are just, you know, just jealous. You're just jelly, bruh, you know? But uh, it's like, let's break it down then, really. Let's break it down because I know people are going to say that's not enough evidence. Let's break it down. First of all, let's see a clip from M M Nadal address this question. Check it out. I spent a lot of time on CNN recently talking about the bad things in sport, drugs in sport. How do you feel when this topic comes up again and again? How does it make you feel? Very bad. Well, it's, it's something, you know, even I, even I don't like to talk about it because it's something that damages a lot the, 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 the image of the sport. And somebody like, you know, like Armstrong, like was an idol for the most of the people who love sport, at the end, you see that was not true, nothing, you know. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a big disappointing, you know? so well, I think we need to work together in the same direction to, to change this situation, you know? and um, it's, it's something that... Uh, How do you feel when this topic comes up again and again? How does it make you feel? Very bad. You know, it's, it's something, you know, even I, even I don't like to talk about it. Now, I was totally convinced by that. That was pretty convincing. You know, that, if you look in his eyes, that's convincing. He's, he's definitely natty, full natty bra. So we have the issue that, you know, tennis tests for drugs, okay? If there was any drug cheats in tennis, they'll get caught. They test. You can't pass a drug test if you're on drugs. That's why they call it a drug test, people. Wake up. You know, like, the reason why so many cyclists get caught is because a lot of cyclists use drugs. Okay, if, if you use it, you, you will get caught because they have drug tests, drug tests. Just like if you shoplift from a supermarket, they have detectives and security. They will catch you. You can't steal when there's security there. If there's security and cameras and all that stuff, you will get caught. You can't steal from these places. That's what's called security. That's what's called drug tests. So if you're on drugs, you will get caught 100% of the time. Now. People say, oh, that's not true, Harley. What about Lance Armstrong? He got tested, you know, a few thousand times, most tested athlete in history. He didn't never tested positive. Well, Lance was just trolling, man. He was just trolling all that shit. He was on Oprah and shit. He's just trying to get a book deal, man. You know, he saw how well Tyler went. He's just trying to get a book deal. Lance is just trolling everyone, guys. He's just trolling you, man. No way, Lance. Lance had cancer, man, as if he would take anything like that that would affect his health. You know, like, some fucking jealous people out there, some haters. You don't believe in hard work. You can't believe in miracles. You think just because someone's got big arms, they're on steroids. That's just nonsense. I mean, you know, if Lance was on steroids, he'd be massive. But look how skinny he was, you know? So it's just people are just trolling to try and get a book deal or something like that so yeah I took steroids I never get caught though but I did take steroids it's like bullshit you didn't take steroids you never got caught if you're on steroids you would have got caught drug testing people it works it's very very you can't beat the drug testers there's much more money in drug testing than there is in drug production the pharmaceutical companies they earn a bit of money but the drug testing companies earn a lot more money because the sporting federations might want to make sure we clean it up they don't want to make the test easy to pass so that less people get caught and it makes the sport look cleaner when it's not really. But no, that's not true at all. That's that's just some conspiracy from the haters that I read on forums. So let's again look at quickly, wrap this video up. The 
drug. It, let, let's just let's do a hypothetical. Let's be a devil's advocate. Let's say that tennis players did take drugs. Would it help them? It wouldn't. What drugs would help a tennis player? Okay. I mean, in cycling, it's about stamina. You know. So the drugs like the EPO and stuff can help. But in, in the tennis, stamina, you don't need stamina to play tennis. Tennis is all about hand-eye coordination. So if you practice that against the wall, you know, when you're a kid, you bang, bang, bang against the wall, that's all you need. You don't need stamina. EPO wouldn't work for tennis. Blood doping wouldn't work for tennis. You don't need stamina. What else do cyclists take? Insulin to speed up recovery and glycogen. You're, you're mostly running on fat when you're playing a tennis game. You don't really need to have, have carbohydrates. In fact, a ketogenic diet is actually best for tennis players when a low-carb diet is actually better for performance because it's all hand and eye against the wall. You know, you're doing that. So you don't need the carbs. You don't need to shoot up insulin to build up your glycogen reserves again for the next day. There you go. Another thing that cyclists take is testosterone. It gives you more focus, more aggression, more passion, more power. You don't need that in tennis. You don't need more aggression and more confidence and more, you know, just get up and go. You don't need it because it's all about hand-eye coordination, okay? What's another drug people take? Um, Provigil modafinil increases focus and concentration and and uh, increases respiratory rate and all that stuff and stamina, everything. It's just like the sharpening the pencil. Tennis players wouldn't benefit from taking modafinil or Provigil because you'd be too jittery and you couldn't really focus on the ball. Even though it increases focus, but I mean, pilot, fighter pilots use it, but it's, tennis is different because you're in the sun and you glare and all that stuff, and you're not allowed to wear sunglasses if you're a tennis player. So, modafinil wouldn't work. The Dave Asprey drug wouldn't work. Um, another one, human growth hormone. A lot of athletes take that to help heal injuries, like, you know, but tennis, it's, you're not getting injured, you're not colliding like with people in MFA or basketball or cycling. There's, so there's no injuries in tennis. You don't really get, I mean, tennis elbow is more if you're an amateur, you know, so again, so we covered it, EPO, blood doping, insulin, IGF-1, human growth hormone, modafinil, provigil, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, stimulants, wouldn't work in tennis because it's all about hand-eye coordination. So there you go, haters, <sighs> take that. You know, before you try and knock someone, why don't you do some hard work in your life? Before you try and accuse people of being on the juice, why don't you, you know, commit to something in your life? Dedication, commitment, hard work, ethics. That's what it takes to be a world-class athlete today. All right? You can't just get on the gear and, and train for 20 years and do that. It doesn't work that way. So there you go. That's my comments and opinion there. Rafael Nadal, full natty bra, 100% natural. In my opinion, never part, never, you know, never tested positive, never admitted to drug doping, so obviously clean, 100%. You know, that's just how it is. I know people will find it hard to swallow, but that's how it is. Guilty until proven innocent. Thanks for watching.